August 29, 30, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 552-553 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Fighting continues to generally appear as Ukraine making liberation efforts in the south, and the Kremlin making attempts to invade in the north. The Kremlin continues to force Russian passports on residents of occupied Ukraine. Ukraine has put a flag up on the Dnieper left bank at the Antonivka bridge. Ukrainian drones having success in Russian cities is making Kremlin-leaning mouthpieces unhappy. The airfield at Pskov Russia has taken damage from drones, the extent is yet unclear. Dnieper line. As noted, a Ukrainian flag was raised over Dacha at the Antonivka bridge on the left bank. A landmine in northern Kherson has claimed the life of a civilian, in area which was liberated almost a year ago. The Kremlin ordered 275 shells of various calibers fired into Ukrainian liberated Kherson, in the last day. Zaporizhia Front. Ukraine continues to launch attacks into the area around Robotyne. Much progress in liberation of Ukraine has been made in just the last four days. Ukraine continues to probe and shape around the Morki Yoli, forcing combat past another six square miles in three days. Shelling was heavy across this front. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin sent Mobix to die in Marienka. A Kremlin-leaning source claims Ukraine made a second attack north of Avdiivka. Bombing and shelling continue to be heavy. Bakhmut area. Shelling and airstrikes were heavy. At least one Kremlin mouthpiece has admitted that Klishchivka is now contested. Another Kremlin mouthpiece suggests that the Kremlin's Chechnyan mercenaries had a success overnight in the hills west of the village. A different source says that Ukraine made attacks in Klishchivka proper. Neither side shows any line changes. Oskil border front. Fighting on this front was effectively a repeat of the attacks yesterday, and pretty much every day for the last five days. Fighting at Novohorivka appears to be heavy now, as the Kremlin continues to attempt to steal more land from Ukraine west of Svartov. Around Kupiasen Kremlin mouthpieces claim that advances by Kremlin troops east of Sinkivka are being blocked by Ukrainian counterattacks. Shelling was regularly and rather spaced, with a majority of strikes reaching just past the contact line. Northern border. More drones into Russia tonight. The list of targets seem to have included Bryansk city center, an oil depot in Zerzhiny district of Kaluga, Moscow proper, and Pskov airfield. Pskov and Bryansk are both northward from Ukraine and following two nights prevailing winds at 300 feet. According to early reports, as many as four military Illinois, 76 were destroyed by as many as 20 Ukrainian drones at Pskov. In Bryansk an electronics plant appears to have had a fire of unreported size. Kremlin air defense was active in Oriol Arblast, Tula Arblast, Ryazan Arblast, and Moscow. In Moscow earlier today, a warehouse for a train yard burned. Shelling into Ukraine was heavy in Kharkiv and in southern Sumy. Limited shelling in Chernihiv. Black Sea. The Kremlin launched a number of caliber missiles from the Black Sea. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming the destruction of a large team of Ukrainians on fast boats. More explosions and supposedly destroyed Ukrainian drones on occupied Crimea. Ukraine world related. Germany has arrested an electronics manufacturer for selling parts for Russian weapons to Russia, after the embargo was placed. The US is sending another $240 million in supplies and arms. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.